Welcome to my channel. This is Dalu. Today I am going to share with you guys 10 tips to make your guests feel as welcome as possible to your home. We all have busy schedule, we have things going on, it's the holiday season, guests may pop up from time to time. How do we make sure that guests feel welcome? So let's start with tip number one. Keep your foyer, your entrance area as clean and as neat as possible. Guys, let me tell you something. Your foyer, your entrance area is the first impression of your home and of you. So you have to make sure that you give a good impression. And in order for you to do that, it has to be clean, neat, and smelling good. You can use the little packets like that. You can spray, you can use a scented candle, or whatever you have, whatever you like, whatever your preference is, to make sure that it smells good and welcoming. Guests may forget how your house look like, but they will always remember how it smells. Tip number two, if you have a no shoe policy, make sure that you have slippers or socks, preferably thick socks for your guests to wear. And also for the socks, preferably white socks. You cannot ask your guests to take off their shoes and you have nothing for them to wear. It's not welcoming. Some guests cannot wash on um, barefoot. They need something. So make sure that whatever you're gonna give them, it's not soiled, it's clean, and it's neat as well. Tip number three. Make sure you have an area to receive the coat. When your guests come in, ask them to take, to take their coat for them and put it somewhere. If you don't have a coat closet in your foyer or entrance area, you can use a coat hanger. You can get those anywhere and put it in your foyer. So this way when your guests come in, you can have them hang their coat over there. there. Tip number four, your powder room. Make sure that your paddle room or your guest bathroom or whatever bathroom that they're going to use when they were, um, when they at your house, it's clean. When a guest is at your house, there is a 95% chance that they are going to use your that restroom. You have to make sure that that restroom is clean. It's um, it's neat, and once again, it does smells good or okay. So make sure you get you put something there that will make it smell good um, when they walk in. And also, in your powder room, make sure that there is something for them to dry their hands. Um, I personally do not like to use towels unless if they white. So I would advise that you use paper towel or napkin because guests will not feel comfortable using towels. They don't know how long they have been there. And um, if the towels are not white, they don't know whether or not if they clean or dirty so even if you have towels in your bathroom you can keep it for decorative um, purposes but at least put some napkins or paper towels for them to dry their hands don't forget to put some soaps and some hand creams um hand lotion should i say as well in that bathroom tip number five make sure you put your dishes away when they walk in to your house they don't need to see what you eat for breakfast lunch or dinner depending on the time they come in so what you do i know we have busy life we have a lot of going, uh, things going on some of us have little kids we have busy schedule but at least clean the dishes if you do not have time to clean your dishes at least put them in the sink where your guest doesn't have to see your dishes your dirty dishes scattered all over the table or your countertop Tip number um, six, have a designated area for your guests to sit. You'll be surprised you'd go to somebody's house, they don't have a place for you to sit. When you get there, that's when they empty out an area or cleaning out an area, a chair. Wherever you're going to have your guests sit, make sure it is prepared and ready for them. Number seven, if you have kids, prepare them prior to your kids or um, prior to your guest arrival let your kids know the relation your relationship with the guest whether if it's friends family member 
close friend, whatever it is, let them know so this way you can prepare your kids. Always remember your kid, remind your kids to be kind, respectful, and welcoming to your guests. One of the things that you can do, you can even let one of your kids give the house door if you were gonna give a house door. This way your kids can feel like they are part of the whole process, they don't feel excluded. In that same thing with tip number eight, make sure the toys are put away as well because you do not want your guests to trip on one of your kids' toy while they are at your house. It's not good. They are kids, kids are kids, but at, the, but at the same time, we have to make sure that we do our best for our kids, for our guests to be comfortable. Another thing you don't want, you don't want your guests to step into one of your kids' toy and break the toy and your kids gonna throw tension because they are kids, let's face it. So the best thing to do is to pick find a box, ottoman, whatever you have, whatever um, you, you have around or you have at the time. Put everything inside there and then you can only leave out the toy that your kids are using. As a matter of fact, over time, your kids will know and understand whenever you let them know that you have guests coming in, they will understand and realize that they have to put their toys away as well. So eventually you don't even have to do it by yourself, they will learn to do it on their own. Tip number nine, offer your, your guests something to drink. It doesn't have to be alcoholic drink, it could be whatever you have at the house. It could be coffee, tea, water, milk, orange juice, whatever you have at hand, whatever at hand, whatever you have available, offer it to them. But one thing, make sure you respect their choices. So if they said no, they don't drink alcohol, it's not your time to be judging them. If they said no, they don't drink juice, it's not the time for you to be telling them it's not gonna get make you fat, it's not going to do anything to you just one more time respect their wishes if they say no listen to them and you can offer them an alternative based on their answer and based on what they told you tip number 10 remember to have fun with your guests they leave their busy schedule to come and spend time with you make sure that you show them a good time show them some pictures of your of your family your your um if you have an album it's a good time to share it with them and also remember to call them by their preferred name this is not the time for you to to be calling them a name if you know that they're not a big fan of it so make sure you call them whatever whatever name that you know that they prefer and whatever name that they're gonna make them feel good but most importantly have fun with your guests and don't forget to always thank your guests for coming to see you tell them that you appreciate and it was a pleasure for them to come over always remember and as a matter of fact when your guests walked in at the door that should be the first thing that you say welcome to my house thank you for coming all right guys i hope you enjoyed those wonderful tips for when your guests come to your house if you are if you would like to see more videos on some of the things that i'm doing to always keep my house smelling good leave comments below and i'll be happy to show you some of the products and some of the things that i am doing currently and also if you enjoyed this video please 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 give it a thumbs up and do not forget to subscribe as a matter of fact i do have a giveaway going on um so this is eight if you subscribed on my channel can you see it if you subscribed on my channel you'll get a chance to win that wonderful gift set it is um i think here is the scented oil that i have and this is a that you're gonna have and a candle it is by olivia blake this set is guaranteed to keep your house smelling good it's everything that you're going to need to make sure the house feel good yes guys this is it for today once again thank you so much for stopping by well, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe i'll see you next time thank you for